Poštovane dame i gospodo, dragi predstavnici medija, prvo jedna tehnička informacija, molim vas kanal 2 za engleski i kanal 3 za hrvatski. Channel 2 for English, channel 3 for Croatian. Dobar vam dan i dobrodošli na konferenciju za medije kojoj je prethodio neformalni sastanak ministara pravosuđa i unutarnjih poslova. Današnji dan posvećen je unutarnjim poslovima. Ispred predsjedatelja s nama je danas podpredsjednik Vlade Republike Hrvatske i ministar unutarnjih poslova, gospodin Davor Božinović. S nama je također povjerenica za unutarnje poslove, gospođa Johansson. Dobro vam do, dobro došli još jednom. Poštovani ministre, izvolite uvodnu riječ. Uh, hvala, Marina. Thank you, good afternoon. Today we had a very good... Uh and constructive exchange of views uh, on a number of important uh, topics. We had a forward-looking discussion on internal security. Uh, we all agree that security is one of the major concerns uh, of European citizens, and it is uh, our responsibility to take uh, bold decisions uh, and find the right answer to these concerns. Our citizens deserve no less than that and uh, they right, rightly expect uh, uh, us to rise up uh, their expectations. In this regard, I be uh, believe it is uh, fair to say that today's discussion has uh, clearly demonstrated that we are committed to make the most on our part to contribute uh, to the effective implementation of the strategic agenda and the political priorities of, of the new commission. The new institutional and political cycle provides us with a great opportunity to make a decisive step forward in meeting the expectations of our citizens, not only in terms of internal security, but also in terms of uh, lays uh, the foundations uh, for a new approach to asylum and migration, as well as protecting the principle of free movement of people. On these three elements, security, migration, and free movement, the previous commission and presidencies uh, have done a lot. Our ability to move forward on these uh, topics will be of crucial importance in restoring our mutual trust uh, with uh, the ultimate goal uh, of returning to a normally functioning Schengen area. With that in mind, the next step of the Croatian presidency will be to come up with a zero draft of strategic guidelines in the area of freedom, security, and justice then will, that will guide us uh, in our work uh, in the next five years, as this has previously been done with the Tampere, the Hague, the Stockholm program, as well as the strategic guidelines agreed upon back in 2014. Discussion on the zero draft will then be taken forward in Coreper. In, it is our ambition uh, to have the strategic guidelines adopted at the Justice and Home Affairs Council and endorsed by European Council in March. On migration, as you are aware, ILWA have started together with Margaritis Vice President uh, Shinas uh, have started a tour the capital to listen to the concerns of each member state in their attempt to carefully calibrate the new pact uh, on asylum and migration. Aware of that, Croatian presidency did not want uh, to preempt the outcome of this ongoing and delicate consultation process. Uh, that's the reason we therefore decided uh, to concentrate our discussion today on concrete measures that can be taken by Member States, uh, Europol, Frontex, uh, and the other EU agencies uh, in cooperation with the third countries to intercept and eradicate the widespread phenomena of migrant smuggling. Our focus was placed uh, on the Eastern Mediterranean migratory route. We have once more underline the importance of the partnership with the Turkey as well as the, with the countries of Southeast Europe. The measures and concrete steps discussed and agreed upon today can and should be applied on all three major migratory routes. And an important angle 
of this discussion was to take a look uh, at the key developments in Libya and uh, Turkey and to assess the potential impact uh, of these developments on migratory flows to the European Union. In the, after, in, the, in the afternoon, we have taken a close look to where we stand in implementing the new regulation on European Border and Coast Guard Agency. And another important topic uh, and priority of our presidency is the introdu introduction of new information systems uh, in the work of our law enforcement officers, I would certainly be fair to step here and uh, give a floor to Ilwar Commissioner Johansson. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Davor. And let me first uh, congratulate you for uh, having and uh, being able to chair this and prepare this informal council in a very, very good way. I think we had very good discussions today and it was um, fruitful exchange of views on concrete issues and I think that was concrete, concrete topics and I think this was was very good and uh, it's also very um, uh, happy to be here on your first ever presidency uh, it's not my first time during your presidency I've already been there a few weeks ago but it's always very uh, nice to come to, to Croatia and, and to, to Zagreb so, as David just mentioned, today we focused quite much on security and I had opportunity to uh, outline some priorities in, in security. Uh, we will improve EU policy cooperation, police cooperation and information exchange by modernizing the law enforcement cooperation framework and simplify uh, the operational cooperation among member states. And I'm preparing to reinforce the mandate of Europol. We also need to protect cities and people against terrorism. And I'm therefore preparing a proposal protecting um, a critical infrastructure such as energy, transport, finance and health. We need to much better fight uh, organized crime. There are, according to Europol, more than 5,000 organized criminal groups currently under investigation in the European Union. And these organized crime groups uh, uh, generate 110 billion euros, at least, in profits in the European Union. And only 1% of these proceeds are confiscated. That's why uh, I am preparing proposals on freezing and recovering assets. Drugs are a threat, of course, to individuals and families, but it, drugs is also a cash cow for organized crime. We are seeing more drugs, cheaper drugs and more potent drugs entering Europe and being produced in Europe. And we need to coordinate our response, and I'm therefore preparing a new EU agenda on drugs. We will also step up on our efforts to combat firearms trafficking, because illegal weapons fuel organized crime and give terrorists the means for carrying out attacks. Even worse than trafficking firearms is trafficking of human beings. Maybe it's the most ev evil, evil of all organized crimes is like a modern slavery. And there's also an area where we are preparing new proposals. I must also say that we need to follow the digital developments. Crime and terrorists have moved online since long, but they are developing their use of the new tools very fast. Law enforcement cannot afford to stay behind. So we need to take new steps to protect children against online abuse. Sharing information and connecting information system is key. And our European agency, EU LISA, plays a crucial role to do that. And we have two pending files that are now in a trialogue with Parliament that is related to this, both to take down terrorist content online and also to use the e-evidence. And these are, are important responsibilities now for 
uh, the Croatian presiden presidency and for Davor. And of course, I will uh, facilitate as, as far as, as possible so that we can come to conclusions. These are some of the things that we mentioned, and uh, exactly like Davor mentioned, uh, we are now reaching out to all member states to prepare for the new pact on migration and asylum. I have so far have concrete dialogues with 15 of our member states, and all the others are already scheduled, so they're going to be finalized in the coming weeks. And I can tell you so much that I'm meeting a very I'm facing a, a constructive approach from member states, even though, of course, they have very different geographical realities and very different positions as starting points. But I'm quite positive that we will be able to present uh, a new pact uh, that will be, if not welcome, so accepted by the member state. Thank you. Zahvaljujem se povjerenici gospođi Johansson. Thank you Mrs. Johansson. Um, so if you have two or three questions uh, please raise your hand and introduce yourselves. Niko Rajč from the Croatian National Television. Uh, a question uh, for the Minister and the Commissioner. So you talked about uh, illegal migration and security. So there are hotbeds such as Libya and Syria. I would like to know whether Europe uh, is sufficiently prepared to protect its external borders from the potential new wave uh, of migrations. Thank you. I am convinced uh, that Europe is sufficiently prepared uh, and has uh, sufficient capacities. Uh, we do have uh, information, uh, we have uh, staff, uh, we have resources. Uh, what we need to work upon uh, is uh, consensus uh, among uh, the member states uh, in order to tackle uh, real issues. Uh, the European Union has uh, different agencies and services, including uh, the European European External Action Service. Uh, they were also present here today. We also discussed uh, the situation in Libya, the situation uh, in the Middle East uh, with a focus uh, on Iran and Turkey. So we do have the necessary information. Uh, we have uh, the technical expertise uh, and we need to demonstrate uh, for the sake of Europe, uh, for the sake of the world and our citizens uh, that uh, we are capable of of addressing these challenges and that we are capable to achieve our goal and that is the goal of secure Europe. Uh, the entire world uh, will be safer if uh, Europe uh, is uh, more efficient. Thank you. Please be kind and wa wait for the Commissioner to provide her answer to the previous question. Just a second. Thank you. Uh, I to what the uh, Davos said that we, of course, need to be better prepared also. That's why we are discussing now to, today about the interoperability, how we have to in, uh, implement this, because it's necessary that we can have access to all uh, relevant information, that we can register people in the right way and so on. So there's a lot of things going on that need also to help us better protect our borders and also the standing, uh, the standing course of 10,000 new uh, officials in, in the um, in the Frontex, for example. But what I would like to mention is uh, the commission I'm representing is very clearly uh, presented by the president as a geopolitical commission. So we would like to act not sitting in, in Europe waiting for those things happening outside coming to us. We will be there and be partners and uh, take active uh, measures uh, in and together with other countries. So this is the most important that EU should be active to help solve the situation in Libya, to help solve the situation in in Iran to help people uh, that are fleeing um, uh, that are um, refugees also closer to where they come from. For example, that's why we have this statement with Turkey. We are supporting Syrian refugees in Turkey. So this is, I think, one of the most important things that we can do together is to act also together with uh, third countries. 
Thank you. You can ask your question now. Thank you very much. Um, Commissioner, when will the Commission come up with a proposal uh, for um, a new program uh, to support refugees uh, in Turkey? Um, and will uh, a new proposal cover not only Syrian refugees, but also Afghans, of which there are hundreds of thousands, and that's especially the group now that is coming uh, across the eastern route to Greece? It's too early to answer uh, both these questions. Uh, we still have the uh, implementation of the ongoing statement, eu Turkey statement. We have now... Um, uh, all the money is, has been um, uh, designated to different projects and should be paid the coming years. So there's still uh, many years to go to uh, actually spend this money that's already in there. And of course we need to have a dialogue with Turkey uh, on how, how this should continue and we also need to have a dialogue with member states uh, on this. So in, in my opinion in, uh, we really need to continue having agreements with Turkey. But the time when we will present a new one and the exact uh, design of this is too early to answer today. Next question. Uh, Michael Winde with German News Agency. Um, you mentioned the uh, situation in the eastern Mediterranean as well um, and uh, the situation on the Greek islands. Has this topic been raised today and can we um, expect something like a, a European approach on that to um, ease the situation there? Thanks a lot. Yeah, I can answer that. Uh, uh, I'm in close contact with Greece, of course, because they are under uh, high pressure. I went to, to Greece as the first member state to visit, uh, and now a new Minister for Migration been appointed last week. He's coming to me in Brussels uh, on Tuesday, and this is one of the topics that we're going to discuss, how we can help uh, better our uh, to uh, better help Greece in this situation. So after that, about, of course, I had to need to discuss this with the new minister before we take any decisions. Uh, if, uh, yeah, it's a uh, uh, commission, but uh, I think uh, that uh, we already uh, discussed and also we were uh, very carefully listened uh, uh, interventions by our Greek colleague uh, today. Uh, the uh, Justice and Home Affairs Ministerial. Uh, we uh, have a close look uh, what is going on in Greece, and especially in the islands. Uh, uh, we, of course, received a, a, a report uh, from uh, our agencies uh, regarding the situation there. And uh, I think uh, uh, it is not uh, as only as you said, possibility. I think it is a need to have a European approach and European answers for majority of uh, issues arises around this uh, topic uh, like migration, but Greece is currently in the middle of our thoughts and uh, our future actions. Thank you very much. Are there any questions more? If there are no further questions, I would like to thank you for being here. I wish you a pleasant uh, day and a safe journey back home if you are traveling. I would like to thank uh, Mr. Bozinovic and Commissioner Johansson. Thank you.